Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at AirPlay for the Apple TV. Now what AirPlay does is allows me to take content that's on my iPhone, iPad, or Mac and I actually play it on my Apple TV wirelessly through my wireless network. Now what's great is this can be movies, TV shows, photos, music, and even actually mirroring the display of the device itself to the Apple TV. The way that you ensure that this is set up is to come into your settings. We'll come into AirPlay right here on the main screen. And then in here are our AirPlay settings. So AirPlay is currently on. My device name is Apple TV, but if I click in there, I can actually rename it. So you can choose from any one of the pre-built-in names. So if this Apple TV happens to be in your living room and is the only Apple TV in your living room, you can click on living room and it's gonna rename your Apple TV to living room. Or you can even come in here and just go ahead and give it a custom name down below using the keyboard and giving it your own name. And this will also be the name that typically shows up on your router if you were to look in the router and see device names. Now I have play purchases from iCloud. This will actually play purchases from iCloud instead of the AirPlay device. So if I'm trying to watch a movie that I've purchased on iTunes from my phone to my Apple TV, it will just automatically play from iCloud instead of using my phone. Now this AirPlay display underscan, this is an option for actually AirPlaying your actual screen of your Mac computer to the Apple TV. If you notice that the screen is a little bit larger than the actual TV is displaying, turning this on or setting it to auto will automatically try and help resize the screen that you're AirPlaying to make sure it fits inside of your television. And there are also some security features with Apple TV and AirPlay. If I click on security, I can actually set up a passcode or a password so that way anyone that's trying to connect AirPlay to this Apple TV will have to either input a four digit or a longer passcode or even a password that I've set. By default, anyone that is connected to your wireless network that is using an iOS device or a Mac computer that has the actual AirPlay ability can just quickly take over your Apple TV. So this is a great option if you're using the Apple TV in a business environment or if you just wanted to make sure that no one used the Apple TV AirPlay feature without your approval. There's even a required device verification. This will actually allow the devices that are connected to it to be verified to make sure that you know they're connecting to the Apple TV before AirPlay is even an option. So let's take a look at what the AirPlay function actually looks like. So here we are with our iPhone. We're gonna swipe up and bring up the control center. I'm gonna tap on AirPlay in the bottom right hand corner. And now we're gonna tap on living room, which is the Apple TV that we've set up. Mirroring is enabled, but if it's not, go ahead and tick that toggle on. And now you'll notice that my iPhone and the Apple TV, they're mirroring one another. So whatever I do on my iPhone is now shown on the Apple TV. So this could be browsing Facebook. You'll notice they are on my iPhone. As I move, Facebook moves on the Apple TV. And it's really responsive and really fast. It's pretty much zero lag time. Now if I come into a photo and I tap on a photo, Notice that the Apple TV actually displays a little differently than my phone. The Apple TV shows the photo full screen, where my phone shows me my camera roll. And when I come out of a photo, I see the actual albums. And now when I play a video, tapping play, the video will play on the Apple TV, but notice on my iPhone I have a different looking screen. I can see the progress down below at the bottom, but I have a TV icon letting me know that AirPlay is being enabled. And now when you're ready to, to disable the actual AirPlay mirroring, bring up your control center, tap on AirPlay in the bottom right hand corner, and then tap on iPhone, and that's going to bring me back to my iPhone. Now there is another method of doing AirPlay, and that is actually AirPlay content such as music and videos separately. So if I open up my music app, the one that I use for streaming music, notice down here in the bottom of the screen I see an AirPlay icon. Now this will be represented in any apps that support this, so some of music apps and video apps have that icon. If I tap on that, I get an AirPlay list, and tap it on Living Room, that icon will turn blue. Now if I tap Play, all of the audio that's routed through my device will now be played on the Apple TV, and you can even see a progress indicator in the top right hand corner of the TV, letting me know what's currently playing. And that's really cool. So now if I pause this, it's actually going to mimic any controls that I do on my phone. And that works for both video and audio. And if I want to, tap on the actual AirPlay, notice that I'm connected to my living room Apple TV, but mirroring is turned off. So I can do this separately. But if I enable mirroring, what that's going to do now is then re-mirror my device to the Apple TV 